All right, what's up? Welcome to the Emilio Exploring Channel. We are in Federal Way at the old Warehouser building. I don't know if there's a park going around it or what exactly is going on, but I see like trails on Google Maps. It's a neat building. We're gonna just walk through it. Let's go. Okay. So there is a bonsai museum, which I think that's what the parking lot over here is for, over that direction. But we're gonna walk around. I've been wanting to come here for a really long time. Finally was over here. Like I was saying, I don't quite understand if it's a park or what. And uh, it's actually a pretty big compound. I've looked at it on Google Maps quite a bit. Check out this huge rock. I bet people would like to climb that. Pretty cool. Not 100% what's up with the, uh, the status of the building. How about we walk, walk down and try to see what's going on. Check this out. Look at that. It almost looks like Seahawks colors on the bottom. And there's that shot. How about, I don't know if it's still open and I saw, I think I'm gonna walk I think I'm gonna walk down the trail and see if we can see the front. Check this out. George Hunt Walker Warehouser Building. Wow, here's the other side. Okay, so the side we always I always see is from the freeway over there. Huh. All right, I think we're gonna go down one of the trails and see the the backside, I guess. Let's go down to the John Shethar Memorial. Wow, look at the whole bottom section. Dang. We gotta get a better shot though, hold on. Okay, so this is the bottom bottom. Sorry for all the wind. Look, and they have a giant flag. I think there still is a facility for Warehouser over that direction. So wow. I think I'm gonna walk around the lake right here and we're gonna try to see the, we gotta at least see the side, the front and the back. So let's go figure this out. I think we found the memorial. It's also this giant, giant round thing here. There it is. And then here's another one. And then there's some benches. I don't know if a park is budding up. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, I can't, I can't tell what's going on. Whoa. Check that out, they have a huge flag. There you can kind of see the building. It's pretty cool. Okay, so it's super windy right here. It's kind of a, a flat spot. We're gonna get a better view up here. Look. Wow. Man, that's neat. I think up here there's like a sign for a trail. Okay, so the city of Federal Way does have a sign here. So that's why I think it's like a park or like around the building. But look, there it is. Wow. You can see like another road over that direction. And then right behind me is uh, another road and then uh, I think it's I-5 on that side. Unless I'm confused, I might have walked the other direction. But we'll walk around the lake and see what else we can find. This must be the little stream or creek that I saw on Google Maps that fed the, the water. I thought it was on the other side, but maybe there's like a spot where it trickles out. But look at these trails. They look maintained to me. And so does the, the trees look semi-maintained as well. There's even some bird boxes out here. I've never seen an anthill that, that pointy. That's crazy. 
Check it out, there's two more. Look, these are gigantic. Those might be the biggest anthills I've ever seen. Massive, massive anthills. Whoa. That's a big flag. Look at that. Woo! So I popped out down here. This is a nice spot. I think we'll get a nicer look at the building here. This, this thing is huge. Look at that. Wow. That's really, really pretty. Man. You can see, uh, so this building, it's doing some like, it uses like a green roof, I believe they call it. So it's kind of like a water smart system. If I'm seeing it correctly, and if I kind of remember, it kind of trickles down. Uh, the building stays cool because it's kind of built into the hill, if you know what I mean? Um, probably also the water keeps it uh, cool. I kind of remember it was kind of like a, kind of a cutting edge building. And I think it was probably inspired by the, some of the green, uh, maybe like the early green style buildings they're making. This flagpole is dedicated to Norton Clapp on the occasion of his retirement as chairman of the board of Weyerhaeuser, April 15th, 1976, the bicentennial year. So that's pretty neat. We'll just keep walking. That flag's so big that it's getting like a, a whipping, it's getting like a whip going. Here we're on the other side. Now, like I said, I don't remember I see that it's blocked off at these spots, and that's why I walked all the way around. So I'm not going anywhere that the... I'm seeing barriers, because I'm not sure exactly what the status is, but... I don't see them blocked off over here, so I'm just, just checking it out. I'm not going to cross anywhere that I'm not supposed to, where it has... Uh, barriers. I just really want to show this very neat building. Now you can see the rock of that direction that we looked at. Pretty cool. Oh look, there's even, there was access to the, the walkway. There's still garbage cans, which I find kind of interesting. So it says, uh, do not enter authorized personnel only. Okay, that's cool. So there is a visitor's Please register at fourth floor reception desk. I don't know if that's left over from before. Uh, I'm gonna walk around the long way back. I gotta go all the way back. Uh, and then we'll go up and then we'll kind of figure out what's going on. All right, so we're a little higher now. Uh, I had to walk up the, I guess the main road over here. Check it out, the flag's really big over here. But yeah, it's a really pretty day. Pretty cool building. Whoa, check that out. You can see all the levels there. Yeah, that's neat. So it's super windy, but here's the other side. And there's like a cool glass front. And then, yeah, there's a plane. Okay, so I did chat with uh, someone and uh, they said that the trails should be good. Um, just no really walking by the building, you know what I mean? So like uh, not walking down the areas, like the corridors and stuff. So so there is like a museum for the bonsai trees and stuff. So there is trails surrounding the building. Uh, just no walking past the barriers and stuff like that. So got a little bit of clearance. Uh, make sure you check the closing time for the park. Uh, I guess certain sections they'll shut the gate and then you have to exit through a different uh, area so be aware of that. I'm gonna try to see the other side now of the building. Um, so I'm just walking down, just walking down here so we'll see how this video pieces together. Okay, 
There's actually like another one of those giant pipe things, which I think it might be some type of cooling system. But I think we're gonna get a view of the other field here and the other side of the building. Wow, check that out. Super neat. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to walk back to get to, back to where I need to go. Huh. So yeah, the old warehouser building, still pretty. Still looks pretty cool. All right, I guess I'm gonna end the video. Uh, so just to kind of wrap it up, uh, some spots are inaccessible. Uh, there's barriers, don't cross those. Um, there is some trails around the building that are okay. There's also a museum, so there might be some more adequate parking at the museum. I'm not 100% sure if it shares the parking lot over here. So I had a really cool time. It was pretty neat. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all my new videos. And, uh, uh, you know, it'd be fun to go inside. Maybe I will, uh, email somebody that works at Warehouser, see if they want to, uh, maybe we could do a tour of the inside and then they can kind of give me more information on the use of the building. I love all types of buildings and bridges and interesting architecture. So I'll just leave the video right here. Thanks for watching guys.